There's a new Walking Dead game for iOS. It's a top-down action strategy, and I'm here to tell you about it. I'm Zach Scott, and this is Quick Play. What's up guys, Zach Scott here playing The Walking Dead Assault. This is out for iOS. Right now I'm playing on my iPad and this is the first official episode of Quick Play, a new series in which I can play just one video's worth of a game and not be expected to commit to the whole series. I can give you my first impressions, a quick review and whatnot, but I will tell you if half of the viewers, half of you guys like this video, I will turn this into a full series. So pay attention to the game. Let me know what you think. If you think I should keep playing, like the video uh, otherwise I mean you can like it either way but if it does if half of you guys do like it I will most likely turn it into a full series so here we go we're gonna start with a new game right now uh, this is uh, basically a top-down action strategy game you're gonna see what it's like we're gonna start with the hospital right here which also serves as a tutorial level uh, basically this is based on the Walking Dead comic series uh, including characters from the comic series. This, uh, now, I played the Walking Dead game by Telltale Games. That was one of my most popular series uh, on my Zack Scott Games channel, so I decided this would be a good episode, a good game for the first episode of Quick Play. So basically, what we're looking at here, we can pan around, we can zoom. Uh, it has excellent cell shading graphics. Uh, and the point is basically to collect supplies and kill zombies, use the supplies to upgrade uh, your your stats, your health, your damage, that kind of stuff, and then uh, you know just keep going. Right now we only have one character, Rick, and we're running through this hospital, double clicking, trying to collect supplies. And uh, again, this level basically serves as a tutorial, and you'll see something in a second here. We got more ammo as well, panning it around just to get a good view. And oh my gosh, it's a walker right there, appearing right there. I got some ammo though. Here we go. Now, uh, as it says, Rick automatically fires when the walker is within range. And basically what this does is it, if you look, you know, Rick has kind of like a little circle outline that shows his range. He'll automatically fire. Of course, I can switch to a melee weapon. The range is much shorter. This whole level, if you look in the upper left, it has 23 zombies left. This whole level you can kind of pan around and see. The border is kind of like a perforated yellow border. It looks like you can cut it out. <laughs> but uh, no, we're gonna keep keep moving. Double click to move to a spot. There's another walker. Whoa, I'm gonna probably have to move into the back room, back of the room here. Wait for this zombie to enter. Boom, shot once, shot twice. He's stuck in the door, shot three times, dead. Go over here and uh, collect these supplies as well. It looks like I just picked up ammo from that walker. Now move forward a little bit. Shoot these guys. Okay, I'm gonna have to be on the run. There's a lot of guys here. Go, 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 run. Oh my gosh. Okay, now here's a car. I can tap it to activate the alarm. And hopefully these guys are gonna go over to the alarm. And uh, maybe not, maybe I'll have to just kinda stand by here. I can shoot them while the alarm's going off. Got an achievement for that, apparently. All right, this is gonna be tough. Okay, the alarm's gone, run. Oh my gosh, so you can see they kind of chase you. Get a good view of what that's like. Uh, he won't fire while he's running, sadly. Not like in the TV show or the comic. All right, killed another one, gonna run again. As soon as I get a good place to stop, I'll turn around probably and shoot them again. Like so, oh yeah, oh yeah, both dead. There we go, and got the supplies as well. Um, I do believe the supplies are mostly highlighted on the map, so nothing much to worry about. Whoop. Switch to my melee. Come on, come at me. Boom! Got him. And he did not do any damage to me, so that's good. Gonna run over here. Switch back to my gun in case I meet any zombies long range. Like that one, I keep calling them zombies. I know they're walkers, but, you know, I would think that... I, I'm just... I, I, I'm a bit disappointed that these guys don't have zombie lore in their in their culture. They don't know what to call them. They just, they just call them walkers. <laughs> and actually, it's just these guys call them walkers. They all call them different things. So anyway, kind of annoying. Not not a deal breaker though, obviously. Switch to my melee. Oh, don't need it. Perfect. Now, it's telling me to use my special move. I do have a special move. I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, each character has a special move, in fact. And uh, yeah, let's zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. I'm alternating between zooming in and zooming out. 
This is not typ typically the type of game that I would normally play, but I will say for what it is, this is very well done. Um, it's kind of a, you know, what can I say, a top-down strategy shooter. You gotta make, you gotta make plans, it's, it's action-packed. You gotta upgrade your items appropriately, and you know, I'm, I'm just gonna show you the first stage and part of the second stage, but, uh, let's see. Nope. Activate this dead body or something. What is this all about? Okay, here we go. Let's zoom in. Take a look. Get, get a little bit closer. Oh god, that's maybe too close. Right there. Okay, yeah, we're gonna, probably gonna be in a situation where these guys are chasing me again. Or maybe not. Oh yeah, wait, how many are there? I can't tell. They're just eating a dead corpse. There we go, that was nice. Pick up some stuff that they dropped. And it's telling me to go that way. I know to go that way, obviously. I said there are four walkers left and they're all in here. This is when I activate my headshot ability. And then I pick up the supplies and boom, one hit. One hit, run over here, shoot some more while my ability still is active. Boom, boom, headshot. Pick up the items, all the zombies are gone. All the items are collected. That means I did it, I cleared the hospital. Chapter complete. All right, let's go on to the next level and just show you a little bit because see what we got here? This beats my record time, by the way, <laughs> which just doesn't mean a big deal. So yeah, one of one survivor survived. We unlock Shane. Uh, you can, of course, interface this. I skipped it, but you can interface this with Twitter if you want. Tweet out your success and you get more supplies, stuff like that. I unlock some trivia and stuff. I unlock Shane, um, I unlock some achievements. Typical stuff, we can read the trivia. This is probably spoiler filled, but it kind of shows you a little, a little bit about the mythology here in The Walking Dead as well as how it translates into gameplay. And then uh, there's Shane right there. And uh, you know, you can go buy more points. This is actually a relatively cheap price for these supplies. $4 for 1,200, that seems pretty cheap. A lot of games really try to nickel and dime you. And uh, you know, for mobile games, this is the basis of how they make money is these, you know, you can buy some extra coins, extra supplies, extra whatever. And uh, that's just kind of how the scene is these days. Now we can go to uh, Main Street right here. I won't do all this, but I can drag Shane, uh, Rick and Shane into the uh, into my team list. Shane has a shotgun and a, and a uh, baton. <laughs> and then uh, uh, Michonne looks like it's coming soon, so we can probably expect some either DLC or some updates uh, for this for this app fairly shortly. And then uh, we just do, okay, okay, that team's good. Now you wanna upgrade your, your you know, your stuff. And well, I can uh, buy some flares, I can upgrade my damage right now. I, I like upgrading damage, it seems pretty good in my health as well. And if I wanna follow Skybound Entertainment on Twitter, I get an extra 10 for free. And uh, so yeah, let's, let's just go forward in level two. And uh, this is gonna be my one complaint about the controls, my only one complaint because otherwise the controls are great, you know, panning around, zooming in, zooming out, moving, mostly is great. Uh, but this, when you move as a group, you hold down for a while, then you can move as a group. And I, I get in the habit of double clicking and just moving one, uh, but here, you can also hold down this and switch them both to melee, hold it down again, switch them both to guns. I get in the habit of double clicking and just moving one guy, I'm like, oh, move the other guy, what do I do? Move the other guy, no, no, no. But really what you do is you can switch individually here to control them individually, or you can just Again, like it said, hold down on the screen for them both to move at once. Hold down, move them a little bit. We're gonna wanna move them, just inch them a little bit closer. There we go. Oh, and there's a uh, walker behind me, almost said zombie again. And uh, Shane doesn't care. <laughs> I'll have Rick go collect the supplies, apparently. And then this is really funny. I'm gonna have, actually, I'm gonna switch it to Shane. And so, yeah, you know, this has multiple levels and whatnot. And uh, if you want to see him, you know, be sure to be sure to check out this game. It's really cheap. And I'm sending Shane into the foray. Rick is kind of just kicking back. Shane's under attack. Can he hold his own? It seems like he is for now. No, oh, he's under attack. Shane. Okay, he's good. He's good. Go collect the supply, Shane. Go collect this one. Shane, it <laughs> looks like you're in trouble. Switch to melee, Shane. Go get him. <laughs> oh, Shane's a jerk anyway. So Shane's dead, and this is my favorite part. Rick's just kind of like, oh god. Oh god, they got Shane. This is my favorite part. See Shane's body right here? He turns into a zombie. <laughs> I think that's really well done. And uh, I'm just going to kind of go a little bit longer with Rick. 
Oh, headshot. Boom. Move in. Go kill Shane. Boom. <laughs> headshot on Shane. Anyway, so I hope you hope you get a, a good appreciation for what, what this game's all about with this quick play episode here. And uh, it's Walking Dead Assault. I'm going to switch to melee and just kind of get myself killed. Go. Just fight him off, Rick. You can do it. Anyway, again, uh, be sure to like this video to help out, support it. Uh, if at least half of you do, I might turn this thing into a whole series. I will turn this into a whole series if half of you guys do. Not not a might. This is a will. There we go. I finally died. Game over. The last survivor died. Uh, come back next time for more games. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this game and what other games I could play for a quick play. And I'll see you guys around next time. Try again. No, thank you. Personal tent. Moving clear each street. Uh, <laughs> methodically. Use nearby items to cause a distraction. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you want to support this channel and help it grow, all you got to do is click the like button. Come back next time for more, and until then, check out some of these videos.